Will fuel injector cleaner solve the Jeep Gladiator vibration problem? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. As you may know, and you may have yourself, I've been having a vibration problem in my Jeep Gladiator. I cleaned the throttle body, hoping that that would solve the problem. It didn't solve the problem. So the next step is to put some fuel injector cleaner in, per a lot of the comments and suggestions from you guys. So what I did, I went out to O'Reilly's and I bought some gum out fuel injector cleaner. Now, how this stuff works, you're supposed to add the entire bottle, according to the directions, to an almost or nearly empty fuel tank. And uh, it says, with up to 19 gallons of gasoline. So you let it get almost empty, put 19 gallons in it, and then you dump this bottle in. Now, that's supposed to do a few things. It's supposed to help save gas. Eh. It's supposed to restore lost horsepower. I don't really have a problem with that that I'm aware of. Cleans fuel injectors, intake valves, and ports. Now that is what I'm interested in. And also prevent future deposit buildup. So hopefully this is gonna solve the problem. My issue is indeed a messy or clogged up fuel injector, I don't know. So we're off to the gas station. I'm gonna take this with me. Now I do have one concern. You know, a lot of gas tanks have that little flap inside, right, to prevent overflow or gas coming back up and out. The nozzle on this thing is only about three inches long. And I went out and I looked at mine today and I did not see that little flap, which means either I don't have one or it's further down in the fuel nozzle. Uh, I may need to get a funnel with one of those long ends on it so I can get down and overcome that little flap to be able to get this stuff in. We're gonna see. I'm gonna kind of pay attention at the gas station when I fill up to see how much of the fuel nozzle, you know, the thing you put the gas in with, actually goes down in the tank. I think it's about five or six inches. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I guess what I can do is go ahead, put the gas in, pour this in, and if it gets trapped, then I'll just take the end of the fuel nozzle and I'll stick it down in there to release that so that this stuff goes down in the tank. We shall see. Wish me luck, we're off to the gas station and hopefully this stuff solves my problem. I'll let you know. Okay, that is uh, done. So we're gonna go for a ride. I don't expect instant results, although that would be cool. Um, as you saw, we put 10.7, I think it was. Yeah, 10.7 of one, one gallons. So a little short of the 19, eh, I don't think it really matters. And I will tell you the neck was long enough. Uh, I didn't have any problems, so no issues getting it into the tank. So I'm off, we're gonna go drive around for a bit. I'll come back on just to let you know if there is any miraculous change right away, but this is gonna be one of those down the road things, so to speak, I'm sure. <music> vibration doesn't occur when you're driving. It's when you're stopped, when the truck is idling. 
either in park or in drive when you're at a stoplight, stop sign, whatever. Now, as I've been out driving and I've been trying to stick to higher speed roads, 55, uh, just to get things flowing faster through the fuel system, but I have stopped a few times and it seems to be better. Now, it's been only about a half an hour's worth of driving or something, so do I really think it's worked that fast? Man, I hope so, I hope so. Uh, it's not the placebo effect. I mean, I can see when my camera's up here, uh, it kind of vibrate when I'm sitting still, so it is something observable. It's not just me sitting still feeling it, and I didn't see that. So is it better? I don't know. Is my truck just feeling good this morning? Who knows? But I am going to obviously continue to pay attention to it. It's hard not to pay attention to it because it's that obvious. When it's happening, it's happening. But so far, I'm encouraged. And if that's all that it takes is just a bottle of gum out fuel injector cleaner, then uh, that would be awesome. By the way, I will leave a link to this stuff down below if you want to check it out. Um, it's worth a try. I think it costs somewhere between five and 12 bucks, something like that. So, you know, why not? If it makes a difference, then uh, I think that's awesome. We shall see. Oh, there goes a puppy walking down the freeway. Isn't that nice? You see that a lot here and it's horrible. I don't know if it's wild dogs or people get dogs and turn them loose, but it's absolutely disgusting. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through this with you guys because I have been talking about it at length on the channel. Uh, it's a very annoying thing when your vehicle's not running right, you take it in and the dealership says, yeah, it's fine, okay. Anyway, like I said, I will update you guys uh, over time here once I run through this tank of gas. We'll see what happens, but hopefully it solves the problem. If you've had this experience and you've used fuel injector cleaner and it's worked for you, please leave a comment down below and let me know or if there was something else that you found, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, which runs perfectly, by the way, and Rob Motive Rides, all about currently the new, to me, Mercedes-Benz. Check them out and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to click that subscribe button here. Stay safe out there. Bye.